Well, I got a new project. Um, as you know, I am in a new house, and there are some repairs I have to make, and I found my first victim for my 3D printers. The shower drain. Can't find it locally. And I realized I can print this, even with PLA. Because even though this is thin, as you can see, it's got a pretty big dome in it from it being crushed. Well, that means I can make this thing as thick as that, and it'll fit just fine. PLA will hold up just fine for that. So, we're going to make one of these in Tinkercad. So, first thing I did was create a donut. I then adjusted the donut to be the right size. And I added a bevel to it. Okay? That little bevel will make it easier to insert this into the shower. So if I'm off by just a tiny bit, or if I have too much squish, it'll take care of that squish. Okay? Then I want to keep it roughly the right size to the original, so I created a second donut, and I figured every opening and thickness would be five millimeters. So this is five millimeters thick, this opening will be five millimeters, this will be five millimeters thick, and the next opening will be five millimeters. So since it's radius, all I have to do is subtract 10. This one's a radius of 32.5, which means this one will be a radius of 22.5. And then the next one will be a radius of 12.5. Then I center those buggers up, and now we have, we're getting closer to our approximate drain shape here. There we go. All centered up nicely. And then I want to add the cross members, because obviously those aren't going to hold themselves together. Now five is a little bit tricky, although not that hard, but it's annoying. Nonetheless, it's easier if I go straight across. So I'm going to have six arms. So the first thing I do is I make my arm the right height and the right width and put it in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to control D. When you control D, you duplicate the original without moving it. So you have two in one position. And then I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Now here's the really cool part. Because I did a control D and then a rotate 45, all I have to do is hit control D again and hit control D again. And it puts them all 45, 45, 45. There you go. You have them all. These, I believe, are 62 millimeters across. I made them smaller than where the bevel is because they're going to be embedded inside. Now, the next thing I did was to center everything, and I made the radius of the center one maximum so that it would fill in the space so there's no gaps where these little corners are. And then I dropped a little cylinder in the middle here, got it the right size. I chose 10 millimeters, combined them together. I made sure that that cylinder protrudes out the bottom a little bit here, so it's a clean cut right through the middle. Combine, and done. I now have my little puck to replace this in the shower. And because this thing is seven millimeters thick, I can just make it out of PLA. It'll hold up just fine. So you can make your shower drain any color you want. If, you're, if you have a shower like mine that has this little removable drain that pops into the center of your shower drain. Now I can just replace it with plastic and make it something fancy. So I will now download this, print it, show it to you, and go from there. And um, that's it. Stay tuned. So, as you guys know, I needed a new one of these. So, Alpha Wise U30 to the rescue. Here's the print. I took 20, 25 minutes in Tinkercad to make this. About two hours to print it. I kind of went overkill. Four perimeters, four top, four bottom, 25% infill. It's PLA, but it's 7 millimeters thick. So it's plenty strong enough. Let's see if it fits. From this to this. Ready for this? Boom. First try, it fits perfectly. And I now have a proper shower drain. Nice. My toe kept catching this damn thing, that was annoying. So now I have a proper shower drain. I will see you guys later. So, update. 
Um, all those clips you've just watched are actually quite old. They're from the very first month I moved into this house. Because when I do a practical print video, I like to actually make sure it works. <laughs> so, here it is. This is the shower drain that I put into the shower over three months ago. I just went into the shower and pulled it out, and as you can see, it is absolutely perfect. You'll notice from the pictures and from the early clips, this is not quite the same thing as I first put in there. That very same day, I ran into a problem where um, um, the water couldn't drain through the hole fast enough. Um, when the tub filled up faster than it could drain out. So I ended up doing two things. One, the hole in the middle needed to be bigger. So I doubled the size of the hole in the middle. That's probably all I needed to do, but I figured make it a little nicer um, and also to help with drainage so it'll funnel the water I added a dome so I just took a hemisphere dropped it on there flattened it out and made it part of my cutouts and it worked perfectly fine no issues so this is the actual shower drain my shower now has no drain so when I'm done recording this clip I'm gonna go put this back in um, as you see no wear and tear no issues. The hard water hasn't affected anything. Uh, no issues whatsoever. It's perfect. And this is three months of heavy usage, you know, showering you know, four or five times a week. And no issues whatsoever, including the cat trying to pull it out. <laughs> it's a different color than the rest of the shower, so of course they're trying to pull the thing out. <laughs> they didn't succeed. Um, it fits in there pretty good. So I will be posting this to Thingiverse. I don't know how useful it will be to other people, but it costs nothing to post to Thingiverse, so I might as well. Why not? But there you go. There is a very simple practical print and also shows that PLA has no problems with a wet environment. It still looks as perfect as the day I made it. I have, I can't, I couldn't, if you showed me this, I couldn't even tell it's been used for three months. So pretty darn cool. You guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.